Hey guys, I know this video is a bit chatty, but it's on a subject that I'm very passionate about, and all I ask is that you listen until the very end. Thank you. Hola, my beautiful people. My name is Kishira, and you're watching Kishira Shirima TV. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description bar below. So, Thanks, guys. For the past like three, four days, I have been trying to film this exact video, and for some reason, like you know, like the files will just be lost, or um, my battery for my camera would just die, and it just wasn't going you know well and I was like I was kind of getting overwhelmed and I was like what's going on well that was just simply a sign from God because he knew that that video just wasn't supposed to be posted so um, in that short amount of time being that it, I didn't get the video up I just took that time to research some stuff that I had just received from a company called Grove Collaborative I have seen many, you know, people use that brand and that they sell, you know, top of the line household products and stuff like that. So I ordered a huge box full of goodies and things for me to use in my own household. So that was what the video was going to be about, what I received from Grove Collaborative. And while I was going over some, some of the ingredients that are in the product, I came across one that sounds very harmless and it's not even like an ingredient it's just like an additive to the product and when i did more research there's a whole big article on just that one little word so let me read you uh some stuff the additive that i'm talking about is fragrance i don't know if you guys know how hazardous or very dangerous fragrance is i had no idea that it was like that bad but just to give you like an overview of the whole thing, most of the products that I use that I thought I was using like top of the line stuff, it wasn't what it claimed to be. And that was like extremely shocking to me. I, well, not shocking because I knew that's, you know, I'm, I know that's what's happening, but I just couldn't believe that all these three years that I was transitioning to come and find out like, you know, I'm still at square one. Like <laughs> that was really um crazy to me but you know it's a learning experience and um i just didn't i just didn't want to upload these products and say hey use these because i've been using these when i transition um knowing that they have this additive in it and i just i just couldn't post that you know so let me read to you all about fragrance and then i'll talk to you about what i'll be doing afterwards with those products and how i will be moving forward the whole big problem in itself is that the United States hasn't updated cosmetic laws um, from since 1938. So basically what that means, safety laws for skin, hair, um, cosmetic products haven't been changed or safe for 80 years, which is insane so in other parts of the world a thousand about a thousand three hundred twenty hazardous um, chemicals and toxins have been banned from that country saying um, you know we're not gonna use these products in our skin or hair care they're just too harmful and we can't use that and the US <laughs> only banned 30 and the rest they're like ah. you can go ahead and throw it in we'll use it mind-blowing just to let you guys know that everything that says it's natural isn't always natural and you really have to go in the back and read the labels to make sure what the company is saying is true and it's kind of crazy because now companies are using the word natural and just slapping it on to their product and saying oh we're natural just to look safe on the shelf for consumers like us to buy and the fda has not placed regulation laws on what the word natural really means so basically what that means is that legally brands can place the word natural on their product and just basically still fill it up with a bunch of chemicals and toxins because the u.s has no laws to help keep us from that so to sum that all up is that the word natural really doesn't mean a thing the word natural um now is thrown around so loosely and is now just used as a marketing strategy for us consumers to see it and feel safe with it and pick it up and purchase it and bring it to our homes but what we don't know is that we're actually bringing in the same things that 
the company is telling us is safe into our homes around our kids our pets or maybe even our plants and it's not safe so if you see the word fragrance on your labeling in the back and then you look right next to it and it says that it is plant derived botanical blend or organically sourced that's a more safer um, option to go with because that just means that it comes straight from you know the plant itself which that's that's exactly what you want to use so fragrance typically contains 20 to 30 plus more uh, synthetic chemicals and toxins that just hide under that one little word so it may be looking safe to us but um, it's really not and what's funny is that the companies don't even have to disclose what they use for their fragrance because um, they're basically saying that if they put that information out there that other uh, companies might you know steal their fragrance to make their scent concoctions to make their stuff smell like theirs and we purchase it and we bring it home and we use it day after day after day after day not realizing how harmful these things are and I just didn't want to come on camera and show you guys like you know this is what I'm using when I just realized that they're not good I myself I myself am in shock and I'm like okay so now I have to go back to square one but what I will show you are these soaps that I have been using you guys probably know what it is already it's from territory I don't know who territory is she is a company a soaping company and the CEO her name is Kim Waldrop I have been using her soaps for going on like a year now and her soaps are like superfood soaps and they really help with eczema so if you suffer with eczema this will be something really good for you but I've noticed that my skin is never dry when I use the soap like other you know commercial soaps that you pick up from the store or other big name brand soaps and when you come out like your skin just has like this white scum or something on it and you feel like extra crispy and dry I'm like nah this can't be good this, this, this can't be good so I started to use her soaps this is the uh, coffee and plantain cube soap and this one is the sea moss the first one that I ever bought was the baby the oatmeal one and they smell really good so I will I feel very confident in showing you guys these because I know exactly what you know the company's values and morals are and I know uh, she has an incredible story and she's doing amazing things with these soaps and I trust her and I let my mom use it a couple other family members did purchase it and they love it as well so I'll definitely be using these soaps forever so yeah guys I hope you guys take care and um, see you in the next one